All right, so for this build, we're gonna go shooting guard. All right, right-handed, left-handed, doesn't matter. Jersey number doesn't matter, all right? Now, pie chart. The pie chart you're gonna to wanna to choose, all right, is the blue and red pie chart, all right? There is another blue and red pie chart and that they just added. It's one of the three new pie charts that they added to NBA 2K22, but it doesn't give you the same stats, or the same attributes that you'd get if you did it the way I'm about to show you, all right? If you wanna see the way that it could be done with this new pie chart, let me know in the comment section below. I'll uh, make a new build with that pie chart. But for this video, we're gonna be using the regular blue and red pie chart. Now, physical profile, you're gonna use the very first physical profile pie chart, all right? Now, attributes. Close shot is gonna be a 90. Driving layup is gonna be a 91. Driving dunk is gonna be a 91. Now. When I'm done with this build, you're gonna your driving dunk is gonna be at 94. All right, remember, 92 is for elite contact dunk packages now. They buffed, they uh, moved it up. It went from 86 to 92 now, so you have to have a 92 in order to get to elite contact dunk packages. All right, but when I'm done with this build, you'll have a 94. You'll be able to get them. I promise you. All right, standing dunk, you're gonna put that at a 50. All right, at a 50. Now, shooting. Your mid-range shot is gonna be a 68. All right, your mid-range shot is gonna be a 68, and your three-point shot is gonna be a 58. Now, you know, you know what you're about to say. Oh, you still have to shoot. Listen, listen. With boost, it's gonna boost your three-point shot up to a 60 plus, all right? In this game, I promise you, you can shoot with a 60 three-pointer. You can shoot with a 60 mid-range. It's so easy to shoot in this game if you know your jump shot, I promise you. If you know your jump shot and you have boost, I promise you, you're, you can shoot. You think I'm joking? Just try the build. You'll see for yourself if you know how to time your jump shot. All right. Free throw, you're going to put that at 78. All right. Now, pass accuracy, 76. Ball handling, you're going to put it at 79. Now, this is going to go down a bit once I move my uh, wingspan up. But if you grind this build from 90 to 97, like because Mike Wayne said himself, 95 to 99 gets plus four again this year. So if you grind this build to 97, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be able to get pro dribble moves because pro dribble moves isn't 85 this year, it's 80, all right? Running capped, like always. But, like I said, 87 overall, you should be able to get pro dribble moves on this build, all right? You're not gonna touch post control. You're, gonna, you're not gonna touch interior defense. You're gonna go down to perimeter defense, all right? You're gonna put that at 86, lateral quickness, 84. All right, Steel, you're gonna put that at 91. Block, all the way up to a 57. Your offensive rebound, you're gonna put that at 51. All right, and then you're gonna put your rest into defensive rebounding, all right? So you have 23, 12, and 20. Body shape, doesn't matter. I say this every build, all right? If you're making some sort of slasher or anything that's not a play shot or a designated big man, 6-5 is the sweet spot. I promise you it's the sweet spot for every build that's not a designated big man or play shot. I'm telling you. Go 6-5. Now, for the weight, you're going to want to go 210. All right? 210. And wingspan, you're going to go max wingspan. All right? What you're going to end off with is a close shot at 93, a driving layup at 91, driving dunk at 94, standing dunk 56, post hook, no one cares. Mid-range shot, you're going to have a 66. Like I said, you're going to be able to shoot boost plus four once you hit uh go from 95 to 99 that's plus four that's at a 70 plus boost you're gonna have a 70 plus mid-range three point you're gonna have a 56 plus four 95 to 99 that's a 60 plus boost 60 plus you can easily green this year with a six plus i promise you i've been doing it all day all right playmaking 78 ball handle 95 to 97 all right and not even that Honestly, if you fill up your takeover bar a little bit, you'll be able to momentum, you know what I'm saying, speed boost, all that. But if you want pro dribble moves, 95 to 97, hit 97 overall, you unlock pro dribble moves for this build. Now, takeover, you have slash and takeover, you have lockdown takeover. All right, go with whatever you want, all right? In my opinion, I'm personally gonna pick slashing because I like slash and takeover. 
more than lockdown takeover but in all honesty if it wasn't for me being a content creator and getting clips and stuff like that i'd probably go a lockdown takeover so honestly you can go with either one in my personal opinion you really can all right but me i'm gonna pick slashing takeover and here you have a two-way finisher all right now i'm gonna go ahead and show you how the badge all right for finishing all right obviously we're gonna go with posterizer all right slithery finisher hall of fame these two badges are the main badges you're gonna need hall of fame all right next up we're gonna go with fearless finisher gonna put that on the either gold or hall of fame me personally i will put that on hall of fame but if you want to drop it down to gold and put that extra badge on something else it's perfectly fine um next up i'm gonna go with honestly i'm gonna go with unstrippable on either silver or gold um i don't really know how well it works out the game hasn't really officially dropped yet or you know saying we haven't gotten too much gameplay with it in my personal opinion it works decently on gold like it works perfectly fine to me on gold so i'm gonna leave it on gold limitless takeoff i'm gonna put down silver or gold and then i'm gonna put the rest on pro touch because i'm telling you pro touch is slept on i've been telling y'all this for a while now pro touch is slept on it's slept on i'm prompt it's the slept on badge now shooting badges all right you're gonna go with green machine you're only gonna have three of these so use them wisely so i me personally i'd go with green machine you know either like bronze or silver and then put it on hot zone hunter bronze or silver it's up to you honestly however you want to distribute those three either way i promise you i've been greening all day consistently with no badges with a like a 58 three point i promise you literally i've been greening all day all right all right playmaking badges you can go quick first step gold handles for days gold um unblockable silver or gold in my personal opinion i'd put it on silver uh, you could put it on silver or gold um quick chain i'm gonna be dribbling with this build because i like to dribble i'm not one to say corner nothing so me personally i'm gonna put mine on quick chain like either silver gold one of those two but i know a lot of you who are gonna use this build aren't gonna have you know what i'm saying quick chain you probably have something like glue hands because if you don't know what glue hands does basically glue hands reduces reduces the chances of an errant pass while improving the ability to catch both tough passes and quickly make the next move that's what a lot of people are going to use i already know a lot of, i've been talking to a lot of people like up like content other content creators they said this badge is going to probably be a w so honestly you can put the rest of these four wherever you like distribute them wherever you like me personally i'm gonna put them a quick chain because i'm gonna be dribbling once i get this build up so all right so defensive badges you're gonna have clamps hall of fame intimidator hall of fame those are my top two all for up top two intimidator and clamps all right menace um it, it eh, you could put this on it's the what it does is while guarding and staying in front of your opponent their attributes will drop if good defense is being played so if you're playing good defense their attributes are dropping all right that's 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 fire all right but it sucks if you know what i'm saying someone's using against you so imagine having minutes on hall of fame and you're playing good defense the opposite person's attributes are dropping like dropping dropping all right chase down artists put that on either gold hall of fame the rest you can really do what you want you could honestly i'd probably put it on interceptor but i have i do or like drop some of these to gold and distribute them to other places like rim protector or pogo stick that's up to you though all right so first things first you're gonna make the build a shooting guard all right right handed left handed doesn't matter jersey number doesn't matter all right now the pie chart you're gonna use is obviously the pure blue pie chart and yes you will be able to shoot with this build when you're done you'll be able to get pro dribble moves and you will get all contact dunk packages all right now click on that the physical profile pie chart you're going to use is the agility and the vertical, the speed and the vertical pie chart. All right, you see you get an 85 speed, 83 acceleration, and a 95 vertical, all right? Choose that pie chart. The attributes, you're gonna have a 95 close shot, you're gonna have a 95 driving layup, you're gonna have a 95 driving dunk, and you're gonna put your standing dunk to a 68, all right? 68 will give you 28 finishing badges on the dot. If you're a pure slasher, if you know how to slash, if you if you don't even know how to, you don't even have to know how to slash, to be honest with you. With 28 finishing badges, if you go to the paint, you're making it nine times out of 10, especially on these baby guards or these baby lockdowns. I'm telling you, I have a two way finisher with, with literally like 20, 20 finishing. I'm literally laying up over them every single time. I'm telling you, you have 28 finishing badges, you're chilling. You don't need no more. You really don't even need 28, but it's, it's, it's really to help you out, all right? 
mid-range shot you're gonna have a 68 three-point shot you're gonna have a 59 all right you can shoot with a 50 three-pointer all right you can my two-way finisher my two-way finisher has a 58 with boost that's a 60 plus i'm bro i tell you i can green all right i can green everybody keeps asking me for my jump shot on that build matter of fact because i can green so well all right it's not hard to shoot find your jump shot find your timing by boost you can shoot all right free throw you're gonna max that out to an 80 post fade you're gonna put that to a 60 once you get six shooting badges all right pass accuracy you're gonna upgrade that to a 76 all right ball handling you're gonna up that to an 82 all right you're gonna have 14 playmaking badges you can come down to defense perimeter defense you're gonna have a 76 lateral quickness you're gonna have a 73 all right steel you're gonna have an 80 you wish steals in this game are stupid all right come down to defensive rebound you're gonna up that to a 64 and you're gonna put the rest on block and you're gonna have six defensive badges you can literally take these two off of block and you'll you'll have two left but it doesn't matter where you put it like i've tried everything it doesn't really affect it where you put it so i just put it on block leave it there how it is and your final badge count is 28 6 14 and 6 all right body shape doesn't matter always go to find height you're gonna go 6 4 all right 6 4 you gonna go 6 4 not 6 5 because if you do go 6 5 you will not be able to get a certain contact dunk package i believe it's the small contact dunks it's either the pro or the smalls you won't be able to get those because you have to be 6'4 or smaller. So you have to go 6'4. You can't go 6'5 with this build. All right. Weight, you're going to go 175. Lowest weight, so you get a little bit more speed. Yes, I know you're getting a lot taken down from your strength. But I have a two-way finisher. Strength, you really don't even need it to get that con to get contact dunks like that. I get contact dunks all the time. And my two-way finisher has like a 44 strength. All right. I get plenty of contact dunks literally every video i post like it's crazy i get a bunch of contact dunks you don't even need that much strength people tell you need strength you really don't need it as much as they say you do all right all right wingspan you're gonna go 83.2 all right 83.2 you have a 95 dropping dunk at 64 all right you got your drive your one little plus one driving dunk back all right you have your 58 three-point shot which means you can shoot consistently especially if you buy boost and you know your jump shot all right mid-range you have a 67 you buy boost that's up to a 70 you're chilling you can easily pop mid ranges all day long you can pop threes all day long if you know your jump shot timing ball handling you have an 83 ball handling and your defensive stats are good to go you're chilling all right slashing take playmaking take this is the obvious choice pick slashing takeover if you pick playmaking takeover your mom's up but pick pick slashing takeover i'm telling you it's the way to go do not pick playmaking takeover as you can see, you have built a slasher, all right? Shades of Zach Levine, Donovan Mitchell, and Chris Levert. All right, I'm going to go ahead and show you the badges. All right, so for finishing badges, off rip, you're going to go Hall of Fame Posterizer. If you don't, there's something wrong with you. All right, Hall of Fame Slithery, um, Hall of Fame Fearless, and Hall of Fame Limitless Takeoff off rip. Those are the four badges you need to put on regardless off rip. Those are the four main badges you need to finish in the paint at ease, all right? You need those four, all right? The rest, unstrippable, you can put that on like silver, gold, all right? Um, lob City Finisher, you're gonna want to put that on gold or Hall of Fame considering that's the rep method and everybody wants to throw lobs. Um, Acrobat, I don't have enough badges on my two-way finisher, but on Acrobat, but if I did, I would slap this on. I'm not gonna lie to you, I would slap it on Hall of Fame. And I know a lot of people are gonna say it. Do not put on Giant Slayer, or if you do, bronze, 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 I'm telling you, bronze. You will get a lot more layup animations if you put it on anything higher. You're going to get way more layup animations than you would get uh, dunk animations. So do not put it higher than bronze if you put it on at all. All right. In my personal opinion, I wouldn't even slap it on. I'd slap it on like mouse in the house considering every guard is like six two, six like six two six three. You can easily, you know what I'm saying, lay up or dunk above them, you know what I'm saying, get up with them. Um... Or you can put, you know what I'm saying, unstrippable. But it's really up to you. I put unstrippable on silver, considering limitless takeoff is going to prevent you from getting strips since you're going to be taking off from the free throw line and everybody's sensing the paint. So it works out. I keep it on silver and then mouse in the house on silver. All right. Now, shooting badges, I'm off rip. I'm, oh, snap. Off rip, I'm going to gold sniper. All right. Um, bronze stop and pop, maybe. And then, like, silver limitless spot up. All right. This is, this is how I run my badges on my pure slasher either take off limitless spot up 
and then put it on like gray machine or hot zone hunter because i do have hot zones but um i'm gonna be honest really you can mess around these badges to however your play style is i know a lot of people wouldn't run gardens build and if they do you know saying they probably have corner specialists catch and shoot stuff like that it's really up to your play style me personally i put like limitless spot up and then stop and pop or green machine green machine really isn't needed but it does help you green consistently if you have a low three-pointer so it's, it's up to you however you want to sub these badges but this is something i rock like now playmaking badges uh gold quick first step gold quick chain gold handles for days gold hyper drive and then silver unpluckable this is how i run my playmaking badges i know a lot of people they probably put on like the bailout because bailout is probably needed for a lot of people when they go up and they don't get the animations they want so you can put unpluckable on bronze and then bailout on bronze because i know unpluckable still doesn't work how they said it does so it's really up to you uh, but I probably put on silver. I usually get contact dunk animations or good layup animations every time I go to the paint. So I'll put on blockable on silver. And then for the defensive badges, I would put menace, bronze, all right, intimidator, silver, chase down artist, at least bronze, because chase down artist is broken this year. Um, and then silver uh, clamps, silver clamps, all right. And that's the build. <laughs> All right, first things first, you're gonna come down and make them a shooting guard. All right, right-handed, left-handed, doesn't matter. Jersey number doesn't matter. All right, now, the pie chart you're gonna want to uh, choose is the same pie chart we chose before, all right? It's gonna be the half blue, half red, all right? Half uh, finishing, half defensive build, all right? I la one of my uh, build videos, I did use this version right here, the, the more defensive and the little bit of uh, finishing or the more finishing and little bit defensive. You can go with these, but there are going to be small key factors in this build that would make the pie chart I'm about to use the best pie chart to use. All right. So go the half blue, half red. Now, the physical profile pie chart, you can go with the speed and vertical one. All right. I know a lot of people went with this one when I first made the build because of the 95 vertical. But the first time I made this build, I went with the pure speed and I promise you the vertical isn't that much much different it's really not that much different yeah you have a 81 but i promise you your character still gets up there and with this one you get a 99 speed and 99 acceleration when you get this build you know what I'm saying higher up in the overalls like 95 96 so on and with gym rat all right so me pressing i'm gonna go with the pure speed again but in all honesty if you really want to you can pick the speed and vertical pie chart all right but I'm going with the pure speed now attributes close shot you're gonna have a 90 close shot all right, driving layup, you're gonna have a 91 driving layup. Driving dunk, you're gonna have a 91 driving dunk. And for your standing dunk, you're gonna have a 50, all right? And this should put you back at 20 finishing badges, all right? Just like my last build. Now, this is this is where it's gonna get a little different, all right? Now, mid-range, you're gonna have a 68 mid-range, all right? Just like last time. All right, three-point, you're gonna have a 58 three-point. Free throw, you're gonna put that to an 80, and post fade, you're gonna put that to a 44. All right, you're gonna add that plus one this time and get four shooting badges. All right, I found a little trick this time. You're gonna get four shooting badges instead of three. All right, pass accuracy, you're gonna put that to a 76. Ball handling, you're gonna put that to a 79. Y'all know my bill can dribble consistently, shoot consistently. All right, you're chilling. All right, now defensive badges, you're gonna come down perimeter defense gonna put that to an 86 lateral quickness you're gonna put that to an 84 still you're gonna put that to a 91 block you're gonna come down put that to a 57 all right you're gonna have 14 so far and the rest you're gonna put on defensive rebounding and you're gonna have a 19 finishing badges now these last few you can just go ahead and slap on offensive rebounding or interior defense either way you're getting those 20 defensive badges on the dot all right so you're gonna have 24 12 and 20 all right the only difference in this time with the build is you have four shooting badges instead of three all right so now you have those extra that extra one badge all right body shape defined doesn't really matter height you're still gonna go six five all right i know a lot of people wanted to go six four with this build you can but like i said if you go six four you're gonna lose out a lot of key factors just because you want you know saying the extra animations or whatever the all honestly the extra animations aren't worth it in my personal opinion because some of those you barely rarely trigger when you're playing you only really trigger the pro contact dunk animations most of the time anyway i'm gonna be completely honest you rarely trigger the smalls or the elites you really trigger the pros most of the time we're on the course so you really only need the pros all right how you're gonna go six five weight you're gonna go two ten all right two ten just like last time all right now wingspan this is where it gets different all right 
last time on my build you went maxed wingspan all right you went max wingspan you were able to keep all your badges but this time now that they changed the build system you lose badges due to your wingspan and the height all right so you're not going to be if you go max wingspan you lose two shooting badges all right and what you're going to do is you're going to put it to an 82.4 all right, you still get your 92, which means you get the uh, elite contact dunks. You have a 58 three-pointer, which is two two uh, attributes higher than what you would have if you made the original. All right, so you're able to shoot more consistently. You're able to shoot mid-range more consistently. And you have a 79 ball handling instead of a 78 off-rip, all right? So it does have its pros and cons, but you do have a shorter wingspan. All right, so if you really don't mind that, keep it's just it's cool. All right, man, you still have your slashing, you still have your lockdown uh, takeovers. I'm gonna pick slashing, like last time. And they did change the build name. It's called a two-way slasher now instead of a two-way finisher, but it's still the exact same build. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the badges. All right, so for finishing badges, obviously we're gonna go straight to posterizer, put that Hall of Fame, slithery finisher, put that Hall of Fame, limitless takeoff, a W badge this year, put that on Hall of Fame. You won't regret it. I'm telling you, you take off from like the damn near almost the three-point line but it's not it's like the free throw line really in all reality you take off from the free throw line if you have on the right animations all right go watch my animations videos if you want animations on how to do it but you pretty much take off from almost three-point line free throw line territory if you know how to trigger it or if you have the right animations all right fearless finisher put that on hall of fame unstrippable you're gonna put that on gold and i'm only gonna say this i, I say this every video but if you're gonna put giant slayer on Please, it, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you put it on, put it on nothing but bronze because if you put this badge on, you're going to see a lot less dunk animations and a lot more layup animations. Yes, I know what it says. It helps you uh, hit layups over the taller defenders, but it basically gives you more layup animations than dunk animations. It's done that since like 2K20. It's highly annoying. So if you put this badge on, put it on nothing but bronze. All right, now shooting badges. I only run really two shooting badges. I'm gonna keep it, uh, keep it honest with you. I literally only run like sniper and green machine. Like I literally run sniper bronze on my regular build and then green machine silver. But now that I have two, I'm gonna just run sniper silver and green machine silver. I might even just put sniper gold in all honesty and leave green machine bronze because you really don't need green machine this year to shoot consistently. It's not hard. All right, so those are your shooting badges. The playmaking badge is gonna have quick first step gold handles for days gold all right you're gonna have quick chain gold you're gonna have hyper drive silver and you're gonna have unpluckable bronze because yes even though they said they upped it or they buffed it it's still garbage you can still easily get steals this year ridiculously easy so i'm keeping on a bronze like i always have just keeping it there and there's gonna be your playmaking badge setup now defensive badges you're gonna go hall of fame menace hall of fame clamps uh silver interceptor i'm not gonna lie silver interceptor is perfectly fine anything up higher it really isn't really isn't necessary i'm gonna be honest silver works perfectly fine i get crazy amounts of steals on my uh two-way finisher with just silver alone so silver will perfectly fine pickpocket put down silver uh rim protector put it on bronze i get crazy snatch block you have a very high dunk and steal rating so you're i mean not dunk but block and steal rating so you're chilling uh chase down artist i'm gonna put down on silver leave down on silver Intimidator Hall of Fame and then pick Dodger on bronze. And this is gonna be your defensive badge setup. So if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like button, subscribe if you're new, turn on post notifications, and I'm out.